Hey Crusaders! Today I am just talking about some of the books that I own and physically have on my shelves that I really think I should read right now and the thing that separates these from some of the other unread books I have is that these are like supposed to be really good ones and the ones that I think I will like I just haven't read them and for a lot of these it's because I'm not scared to but they're there and I know they're there and I just keep not reading them. I put down a book and I pick up like a different one when I know that these are waiting and they're very good and I would definitely get a lot of enjoyment out of reading them so let's have a look at what they are. The first book is The Arenda by Joseph Boyden that I hope to be reading really soon. I heard about this on Mercedes channel and then my mum read it and loved it and I know I will like it so really it's just a case of reading this one soon. It's historical fiction about Native Americans and like a Christian missionary I think and I, I know I will like it so this one is the first one that probably I'm going to get to first. The next book I have still has the price sticker on it and that is Half of a Yellow Sun by Chimananda Ngozi Adichie and this one I don't really know what it is about but I want to read a book by this author and I picked this up in the book barn I believe for a good reduced price so that's why I got it but now I really feel like it's the time to read it. The next book I have is a big one and that is The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt another book that I kind of started reading and then chickened out of. I don't know why because I enjoyed what I read and I am fine with big books so really this is just a case of finding the right time to read it because I think with big books like this I like to read them all in one go, not all in one go because that would be amazing but I like to read them over a series of days and read a lot of them and I don't have the time to do that at the moment. So I think in the summer holidays I will definitely pick up The Goldfinch. And Eleanor got me this, so thank you Eleanor, I will read it soon. The next book I have is another book in the same vein as that, and that is The Narrow Road to the Deep North, another book that has been on my shelf for a couple of years that I feel like I know I will enjoy and just need to read. I think this one's quite hard hitting, I think maybe that's a theme of the books that I have here, is they're all quite hard hitting and you have to be in the right mindset to read them or you have to want to like be torn apart but um, this is another book that my mum says I should read and I agree with her and I've got it in a lovely hardback. I know the birds are tweeting but that's nice right? Anyway, <laughs> the next book I have is The Muse by Jesse Burton and I really loved The Miniaturist. I don't know too much about this one. I feel like uh, I feel like Booktube talked about it but I was away for that. I actually this one is actually signed which is quite nice. Signed and needs to be read. Need to read this beautiful book and see what I think of it. I really can't tell you any more about it. I just have it. Hello. <laughs> I didn't haul all of these, but I do own them. I think these I think these might be about half of the unread books I own, so in that case this is really good. I don't think I own that many unread books, not by booktube standards at the least. The next book I have here is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Again, can't really remember what it's about, but this is one of those books that a lot of people have read, and it's a lot of people's favourite book. I feel like I will like it because I think it fits into kind of the the areas that I like. I think it's historical. Pretty sure it's set in the past. I don't know, it might not be. Can't get this sticker off because that sticker has been stuck on for a long time because this is this is my mum's book actually. And this has been knocking around for a while. Yeah, okay, this has been knocking around for longer than ten years, but to be fair it's not been on my TBR for ten years. Haha. <laughs> We are almost there, almost there with the books that I like really want to read right now. The next book I have is Our Man in Havana by Graham Greene, which I think I said I would pick up in one of my other TBRs and then didn't. 
The main reason this is on here is because I love Brighton Rock so much. Um, I, I, I read that before booktube so I didn't talk about it but that book has stayed with me for so long and I want to read another Graham Greene. I think it's about time I did. I've been saying this for about two years now. I don't actually know what this one is about but I picked it up from the book barn as well. I have another of his but I've chosen this one just for no reason in particular. I just gotta read one and see what I think of it. Hopefully I'll like it as much as I like Brighton Rock. And the last two books I have to talk about are books that I actually never did haul but they are gorgeous and need to be shown off and that is these Penguin Drop Cap Editions. I don't know if you've noticed why I have these two, if you have, I don't know which way around they should be. If you have, that's good, they're my initials. I got bought them for my 21st birthday and it was such a lovely gift to receive. The H. So the ones that they are are Candide or Optimism by Voltaire and Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. And I want to read at least one of them soon. And I've heard of these two books before, definitely, and um, at this point I just really want to experience reading a Penguin Drops Cap book because um, they are just, they are lovely inside as well and this, the, everything about these books is gorgeous. So that list really scares me, but I know that all of those books on there are ones that I'm like, oh yes, I do want to read that definitely and so making this video I really hope that it makes me just actually just pick them up because I feel like I know they're there but then I'm also like oh I don't have anything to read but Victoria you have this whole pile of books that you should read and I will now this video has helped me most definitely I'm going to go and read now Actually, that's a lie. I'm going to go and eat because I'm really hungry. Until next time, look in the shadows, guys.